Hello, this is Drupal and Jason API. Um, what is Jason API? Back for building apps in APIs in Jason. Presumably, you know what Jason is, but maybe you don't. What is Jason? W3 schools to the rescue. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. For example, this is a JavaScript object containing a key called named employees. That is an array of JavaScript objects containing people. Peoples. Uh, okay, that's Jason. That's usually what flies around if we go to inspect network and we pick one of these. Maybe let's see a response. That's that was the JS file. That was done for some sort of API call. XHR, what am I doing? Get rid of that. No response. No response. No good here. Let's try this one. Response payload. It's not not in JSON. Pokemon. I know there's a Pokemon up here. Poke API. I didn't think to show JSON when I was sitting here for 30 minutes listening to music. What am I doing in here now? There we go. View raw JSON. There's some JSON. When you call the Pokey API, we can demonstrate this in curl. And luckily, I have kept chat GPT open. Um, let's go to this. We don't need curl. There's some JSON. But all we need is Firefox raw data there's unpretty json pretty printed so we have some json however it is not in the format of json api which is like we said a spec for building apis if you've ever argued with your team the way your json responses should be formatted well, this is the standard JSON format here. A nice example with um, links. Here's the most important one, your data, uh, which is the, if we view the spec, scroll down, 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 pass all the low level networking and whatnot we got. The document's primary data is a representation of the resource or collection of resources targeted by a request. Primary, primary data must be either a single resource object, like this example down here, which appears to be an article of ID1 with some imagined attributes and relationships. Relationships um, can be anything from users to tags, to Picking of articles, um, other articles, any other kind of resource can be in a relationship. I hope you get the gist there. This is a good way to keep all your documents structured so you can write code once and use it over and over.
what did I have open? Just Pokemon stuff. All right, close that. I didn't eat this. I'll close that, but we'll minimize. Okay, now in Drupal 10, which is what we're in now, and I logged in as admin. This is a fresh install. We can have a look at Extend, which is all the um, core and contributed modules that come with core. I think it's an okay way to describe it. JSON. JSON API. All right. Exposes entities as the JSON APIs compliant web API. What a description. All right. Damn, I forgot to plug my um, Udemy course in the beginning, but I'll do it in the end, I guess. <laughs> so we can enable it here, but we're going to use uh, Rush. Rush, rush, rush. So we're in the correct directory, I think. Yep. Drupal JSON API. It's very fresh. You can see it just finished installing up here. I did a deed of status and clicked on all the links. Now, dev. Let's just do dev SSH and go right into the container. Now we can just type rush, like so. Make it a little bigger. And we'll clear. So like clear. Rush EN JSON API, was it? There's the machine name, JSON API. What we want, JSON API. Dash Y. Say yes to the address. Enabled. Okay. If we were to reload this, we'll see a check mark. Yep. Truck mark. Truck mark. Okay. Let's see what we have. If we reload for configuration. Web services. JSON API. Configure whether to allow only read operations or all operations. This is a very short bid. I mean, don't didn't even think about creating, uh, updating. Or deleting so we're going to stick to accept only json api read operations that was the default right yeah anywho what do we do now is it well first is there a node one no we're going to create a node content Add content, basic page, my baloney as a first name. Nothing over there. All right, we got that far. We have a standard node, which we can see in a theme. And if we, I don't know if it's JSON API, it is. So if you, now that we have the module enabled, you can just add JSON API at the end. Maybe there's a link from inside somewhere in, uh, in here somewhere. I don't remember, or I don't know, but you can always navigate your API that way or through another tool. Um, it's one that I cannot recall right now. Uh, ASUN app. That doesn't make sense. Uh, fetch curl the rocket. Uh, I can't believe I can't remember. Use it enough. Not rocket. Maybe it'll come to me. Anyhow. JSON API. 
data none uh, we have links meta me that's a user that's me but i don't want to go there i'm looking for my node Let's try. Nope. 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 No page. There's the link. All right. I think I found it. Zero. No page. My baloney. What did I click? I was in links. So I'll just try to make this easier to read. And if you look at the raw data, it looks like this, which is very hard to read. But anyhow, at JSON API, we have the links key. And then I found no page because it was a basic page I created. And there's the link. Let's try article because it's going to be empty or just to show that it's empty. No data. And if we click on no page again, no page type, no page ID, big long UID, uh, link self. This is all part of the JSON API spec version 1.0 um yeah all the attributes of your node as you see when you're editing the page like there's the body whether it promote to the front page or not sticky revision language there's some relationships whole nine yards so that's a rough look at json api if we go back to that article, fresh and fresh, nothing. Back to the site, go to content, add content, article. Mm, this is an article. This is body. Tags, uh, fruit. Oops. All right, we have an article. And if we go back to this tab, refresh, there it is. Zero data, zero node article. It's got to be like an all, but. I'm not going to sit here digging through it. You can do that, or I can create another video if there's interest in this. There you have it. You can um, you can decouple from Drupal and out of the theming and custom modules. Um, maybe not custom modules, but the theming, I mean, and jump right into something like React or Vue um, and leverage the power of Drupal CMS to do some awesome stuff on the front end that's a bit easier on the learning curve. Now, that Udemy, which, no, it's over here. Check it out. There's uh, the link will be in course description or the um, video description of this video. And uh, you can tell I didn't rehearse this, right? So, Check it out anyway. There's a preview there somewhere. Two hours of content that I recorded just for the course. All right. Sayonara.